Hello everybody, and welcome to my new Let's Play Super Princess Peach. Yes, I am so excited to get this started, oh my god. Um, I recently actually finished playing my first playthrough of this game, and I thought it was pretty good, actually. Um, actually we're just gonna get into it instead, like just on the screen forever. Um, you're gonna be end up seeing my practice file, I guess you could call it. Okay, Peach, seriously, can you float down any slower? Oh my god. So there's my, my main file, and we're just gonna get started in number file number two. And series 5 Island is a land not far from Mushroom Kingdom, a land rarely spoken of. For Vibe Island is said to hold great power. Oh, that's wonderful. Little Vibe Island. Bowser heard of it and built a summer villa there. Oh, that's nice. There's like a little throne room there. Hearing of an island called the Vibe Center, his mind turned to Mario. Of course, oh, it's Mario. And there's a little freaking Goonies coming through there. Oh my god. We did it. We finally found it. Legendary Vibe Center. Oh my god. What's really fantastic? Oh, that's like my Bowser voice. And last we'll have our revenge of Mario's annoying pals. Hey, idiot, not so loud! Oh no! Alright, sorry, I got a little carry ray! Oh, jeez. Always, the, they always, like, not the, really the smartest little greenie, goonies that they have. Yeah, it's like a little click the door to close. <laughs> These walls have ears, you know! I don't know, it's like Bowser has almost like a like, British accent to him. Alright, show Mario and Co. who's boss once and for all. Gwah! Uh, without further ado, let's take this separate for a test ride. You, Goomba, come here. Oh, oh, it's the Goomba. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Oh, is they get like the shitty end of the stick for everything. Take this separate to the Mushroom Kingdom, have it in the air. Wave in the air. Since you once lived in the Mushroom Kingdom, you'll go unnoticed. Oh no. Go, minions, and show Mario's friends who's boss. Yeah! Oh yeah! God. Here we go. Okay, head and make me proud. <laughs> We're sending in a Goomba. Seriously, you can't send in like anyone else. Look, he's got a little walkie-talkie thing. Oh my god. Oh jeez, they're gonna go charge right in there. This is totally planned out. My god. Yeah, we're just basically waiting for this to completely go by because what you normally would do is you would yell into the actual um, mic, but yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> You normally you can just get past those things. Oh, I'm poor freaking. Seriously, a Goomba caused all this, really. Mario and Luigi got captured. Yes, total success. Mission complete. Oh my god, this is this is horrible. Alright, fall back, troops. Uh poor Mario. This totally reminds me of like Mario Sunshine where he's like behind the freaking jail cell. Like a little toad and Luigi. Oh god, Luigi's like, oh no. Ah, nice work about time. We also got that green guy in a mushroom head and lo loud mouth. Our troops are watching them as we speak. Good, good, that sounded stronger than I thought. Oh no. I wonder what the limits of its power are. Oh god, Bowser are always like playing with some new toy. I wonder. Aha, I know, hey Goomba. Oh my god, getting the Goomba again. This is crazy, come here and I'll bring you that separate, separate with you. Here he comes. Look at, look at him, he looks completely like drunk or something. Look, he looks so like out of it too. That is hilarious. So <laughs> oh, what idiot, what are you doing? What is wrong with that Goomba? He is on something. You're going to unleash the subject's power. Hack, hack, hack. Uh-oh. They're all like going crazy. Uh, I think it's like the scepter like controls on the moves and stuff, which I'm gonna get into a bit later. Ah, uh, what, what, I feel really jolly. Ha ha ha. Uh, Bowser feeling jolly. At that moment, oh no. Princess Peach returned from her walk. Why is Princess Peach like always out somewhere when everything bad happens? It's just, oh god. You, you, she actually gets to do something in this game though. Well, what, what's this? What's the hub hub? Hubbub? <laughs> oh my god, if I can just pull up like a British accent with that. What the hubbub? Okay, they're all like running around crazy. Hey, look over here, read this. Oh, poop. Gwah, you bratty mushroom lose this side of Catcher Mari who will save you now. Gwah, get him, Gwah, Bowser. What should we do? This time Mari's been kidnapped. Oh, crap. We can't rely on Mari this time. What are we gonna do? Yeah, exactly. What are we gonna do? It's up to us to get them back. It's like freaking Princess Peach. Oh, no! Please, Princess, wait. Princess! Oh, no. Huggly buggly. Oh, my God. So she actually just storms off and is like, yeah, I'm gonna go take care of this. 
You lad, you're all a winner. Use that pep and clear- what? Pep? What the heck? Calm everyone down or someone's going to get hurt. Come on. Come on. Jolly good. Princess! Oh god, you do like a little mini game here on the side, I think where you can click the toads or something. Jeez, it's just something like fun you can do on the side here. Where do you think you're going? Come back! It's dangerous! You mustn't go alone! Come back, please! What? You say that you must save Mario this time? So you're going up to him? Hmm, are you serious? Well, I suppose you're quite capable. Yeah, she's quite capable, oh my god. Still, it's far too risky to go alone. Oh my god. I insist you take this with you. Oh no. Oh, that's no ordinary umbrella. Oh god, of course not. Try opening it. Okay, so that's that's fun. Yay! It's a parasol. Oh my god, it's growing. Hi, I'm Perry. If you're in a pinch, just call me. Meow. Wow, and I'm just like, what? Oh, I picked that up at shop at the shop at the day. I think it's rather interesting, don't you? Ho ho ho. Oh god. I think it may come in handy, so why don't you take it with you? Hmm, so what can I do for you? What, beasting bad guys? Yes, I'm your guy. I can't stand bad guys, let me at them. So the freaking like Perry just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kick some ass. All right, here we go, I know everything about Vibe Island. Yay, look at Peach just like freaking like muscling up. All right, so this is basically the layout of the game. It's basically just kind of like platforming, you just go from one little world uh, level section to the next. So let's get started. Um, this first little place is kind of like your tutorial world, so. You can just hop around. Um, you had to buy like different parasols like later on, like the shop. Uh, you can also do that. You can um, down slide, I guess, with your uh, D-pad. I'm using a controller for this, so I'm just kind of angling it. And you can hit these little blocks here, and they will actually tell you some information about the game. Run, basically just controls. I'm just explaining. Run, jump, B, or attack with Y. And most enemies can be defeated by jumping on them or attacking. Yay, Alinar and all the. Walk. Okay, L and R is like if you want to walk like really slow. Um, that's really important for later on in the game because there's like certain um, blocks that basically will disintegrate underneath you. Um, yeah, okay, let's, let's hit this thing with B there. Find coins to buy items at the shop. Yeah, hearts will refill your HP when you see coins and grab them. So basically this is like completely just tutorial world. Um, oh, that's right. I don't have that special ability. There was actually a special ability I had where you can like ground pound with your umbrella and actually breaks blocks. Like, I'm not sure if these blocks are the ones that can be breakable. Um, but I know there's like certain ones later on you can break them. Yeah, you can get like different coins and stuff like that. Um, and also later on there's like these things you might notice on the other screen. Like the little different uh, hearts, different colored hearts. Those are actually emotions. Um, the red one is your anger emotion. The yellow one's kind of like your joy emotion, I guess you'd call it. Um, obviously the blue one being your sad emotion. And your yellow one, or your, sorry, not yellow one, but your uh, green one is kind of like your content emotion, I guess you could say. Uh, each of them will do different things, uh, but this will probably explain it. If I click this, it might actually say something. Jump on the, okay, well, yeah, jump on the enemy. Yeah, I know. Um, you can also pick up the enemies, like, with um, the X button for me. I'm not exactly sure what it is on the DS controller though, and you can basically just eat them up. Uh, you have a little vibe gauge that's underneath your hearts there, and that is what you're going to be using to use those heart powers. Uh, you can pick up stuff like this and kind of throw them at these little, I don't know what you call them, little, I guess, you know, piñata-like things that kind of like explode and give you all kinds of money. Uh, you can kind of duck like this and guard yourself. Uh, this is like, this little box right here is going to contain little toads in them. Yay! And there's like three in each um, level. I'm probably gonna be I'm gonna be getting all of them and uh, as many collectibles of it as I can. I'm probably not gonna be completely 100% in this game because to 100% this game, you have to like go and get all the bonus stuff, like beat all the bonus games and things like that, which I don't really want to do because it's so tedious. Three toes are hitting each stage. Yes, I already explained this. Ah. Okay. Let's continue on. So. Okay, and when it makes that noise, or when you see her on the other screen there, and she goes like, Oh, like, what's that? Okay, that basically is a hint to you that there's something here uh, that's kind of hidden, I guess. Uh, oh my god, there's so many of these things. Do you explain anything different than just the four hearts and the touch screen to change Peach's vibes? Her four vibes are called joy, rage, gloom, and calm. Okay, so gloom, okay, sad, you know, same thing. 
Calm, yes, the uh, green one. Joy is the yellow one. Enrage is the, um, well, red one. Yay. Okay. What do you guys say? Touch hard panels. Swap up vibes. Special moves. Such one turn to normal. Yeah, okay. The vibe gauge. Yeah, I kind of explained the vibe gauge. I can just kind of show you quickly. Uh, this, the, the, actually, is it going to let me? Okay, that's basically the joy one right there. That'll let you actually fly, too, if you hold down A. This is the sad one, which, you know, you cry. You can also, like, run a lot faster when you do that, too. This is the, um, rage one right here. You can also jump up and down, and it freaking makes it, like, really heavy. And you can see my vibe gauge is totally out by that point. Um, so you can grab the enemy and suck it in, and there you go. You freaking eat it, and it gives you freaking vibe things. These are also called vibe crystal things. And they will also restock your vibe gauge, too, so that's pretty cool. Um, okay, and these freaking new toad thing, not toads, but, um, Goomba things. They're kind of like rage-filled, you know, um, Goomba thing. Oh my god, will you stop? Goomba things. Okay. Okay, now if you, like, see coins like this up in the air, it's probably a good idea to use your joy vibe and kind of just fly up like this, because usually there's something hidden up here. Okay, that's showing me there's something hidden up here. I probably need to go, like, a little bit further. You can just keep using these guys. They'll just respawn. You can just kind of suck them up like that. And just kind of use them. I'll see you go. You got some more wonderful vibe crystal things. I'm not sure if they have exact appropriate term. I'm assuming it's like vibe crystals. Okay, seriously, am I like that far off from it? That's craziness. Okay, come here. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you too. You're all gonna become food for me. What are you gonna say? Vibe will make you cry. Spray water. Okay. Cause I know there's like something obviously special up there. Okay, these things. This is where you have to use your emotions to basically get through different parts of the level. Say, like, the sad emotion, or the gloom emotion as they call it, will allow you to cry, which will create water, and yeah, go figure. It'll friggin' <laughs> nourish the friggin' beanstalk. Okay, that's another way I guess you get up there besides flying, mind you. Usually it'll give you, like, some other alternative, I guess, to different things. Not always, though. Like, this because it's the tutorial world, it's kind of easy, so that's probably why they did that for you. But other times, you usually have to fly up to go and find stuff. If I don't mess this up, because gosh, I'm not like the best at platformers. Because I wasn't really raised on a whole lot of platformers. I mean, I don't know, unless you consider Zelda to be kind of a platform. I don't really. Um, this one's probably going to tell me to go way the heck over there. Which I'm assuming means that there's a... Oh, there we go. Okay. These are like little like music things. Which are just like bonus stuff. A score, yeah. Like music stuff you can access from the menu. If you really like the tunes, I guess you could say. What are you gonna say? What's that gonna? Can you notice if you collect a lot of music scores, you'll get more and more band members? Yeah! Get five members to join, you'll have a legendary band with Peaches on vocals. Let me hit five. Yeah, so little extra bonus stuff. This is why I'm talking about the little bonus things. Uh, I really miss, like, not having that parasol. I seriously want to buy that. You can buy that in the shop. Like, different parasols, different things. That'll. Okay, I totally wasn't paying attention there. Gosh, okay. You, Goomba, get over here. <laughs> gotta freaking eat you all up. Okay, there's gotta be like more to this place than just that though. Oh, okay, you're serious? It's like just there. Okay, that's fine. So there's like two things. Sometimes if you go in, like in a pipe and then you come back out, it'll like usually, <sighs> you, freak, freak off. Okay, <laughs> usually if you go into a pipe and then you come back out, sometimes it'll let you know whether or not you missed something in a certain section. Um, I'm, so far I'm only missing like one toad. There's certain different pipes. I wonder, was that like just the, so that it respawns? No, actually, you can go down here, actually. Some I'm not entirely sure if you can go down, or some pipes might be just like the respawner things for the uh, Goombas. Okay, what are you gonna tell me? Did you know if you press the start while pressing R on the tail screen, you can play the opening minigame right away and get the highest score? Okay, that's nice. I wonder if we can fly. Can we fly over this, perhaps? Let's see what's up here. Be investigating. Uh, is there really nothing? Is that it? It might be on the other side of this, actually. Um, is that like, is that really all that was necessary to put in that room? Was just that, just to freaking tell me that? Uh, some of these, some of these rooms are just like, to my opinion, just like unnecessary sp spaces. Like you could have freaking put that on the freaking main. Yeah, that just took me to the other side. Seriously. Okay, well, whatever. Sometimes you can whack this thing a bunch of times. Okay, that time now, too. But there's certain ones, like, later on, which takes a couple of whacks with your little, like, parasol there. There we go, see? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We got all three toads going on here. 
Okay, what do you what do you honestly gonna say? Okay, you probably can say the I can. You get when you jump through the gold gate will turn the number of coins you get. Yes. If you get a star, sometimes good things will happen. Do you feel lucky? Yeah, that kinda reminds me of like Yoshi's Island, sort of. Like you'd have to like um hit a certain like spot on like the whole little wheel thing thing and basically it'll give you kinda like a bonus game for I think for extra lives or something. Anyways, down to the next level. So that was the tutorial world, and now we're gonna see if we can complete this level before we actually end off these episodes. Okay, you. Can I chuck you? Ha ha ha. Look at that. That was awesome. Okay, already up here off the bat. Okay, I'm just gonna use my little fly ability here. My joy vibe to get up here. And there seems to be like more crystals up there, so I'm not entirely sure um, if there's actually extra stuff up here because I haven't really investigated this because since I was just kind of doing like one playthrough. Okay, really? So there, so there must be something special because they wouldn't be just putting these little vibe crystals here for no reason. Okay, seriously, it's like an obstacle course. You better not be. Ki you're, you got to be kidding me. Are you serious? There was nothing there. What? That that goes against the freaking laws of you know stuff. The hints in the game. Oh my god, that was bad. Are you freaking kidding me? What about you? You have anything to say for yourself? Squat down while carrying an enemy and absorb. Yeah, I know. I know that. Like, I don't know my first playthrough of this game. For some stupid reason, I don't always listen to the text. I don't know about you guys. If you guys sometimes just skip text, and then afterwards you go back and you're like, oh, wait, if I just paid attention to the text instead of, like, trying to rush through to the game, maybe I would have, like, I don't know, discovered something perhaps? Or maybe actually learned something helpful? <laughs> That's like me. I just like rush in and I'm just like, okay, you know, I think I know what I'm doing and then I don't. Okay, I'm just gonna cry, like freaking grow this beanstalk here. Jeez. Freaking like, do I remember like that story of the beanstalk? It has something to do with like giants or something. Remember like when I was a kid? <laughs> yeah, that's something you're gonna know about me. I rant like a ton. Um, okay, seriously, I'm too curious. What is up there? Is that just a freaking thing for the Goombas to come out of? Okay, it must be. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna freaking suck you up. Yeah, that's the thing. Like when I was a kid, I remember like watching the, f the show, the f the Friendly Giant. My God, that show was pretty good actually. Uh, some TV nowadays. I don't really watch a whole lot of TV, just because I just don't find that the cartoons and stuff that's on TV nowadays is as good as it used to be. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Puzzle piece. Yeah. Get those too. Puzzle piece number five. Access the menu. Woot. That's awesome. But yeah, TV nowadays, jeez, man. It used to be so much better, at least from what I remember when I was a kid. Like, you had freaking good shows like, you know, like Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. And yes, you know, guys and gals out there, I am total Dragon Ball Z fan. Like, it's awesome. Okay, there's a little toad. I think there's something down there. Dragon Ball Z, such an awesome show. Seriously, it was. Like... I know they had so much filler, but sometimes the filler was good, and then they came up with like Dragon Ball Z Kai, which was essentially, well actually Dragon Ball, I think it was only called Dragon Ball Kai in Japan, they just kind of threw on the Dragon Ball Z to it to kind of stay kind of close to the original name, I guess. Anyways, but yeah, they took out like all the filler and stuff, and I noticed like that some people really didn't like that, but then some people did. I don't know, I kind of had mixed feelings about that, to be quite honest. Because, I mean, I kind of like some of the filler, but then sometimes when I'm just, like, waiting for a new episode of Dragon Ball Z and then find out that all they're doing in the episode is basically filler or they're not getting anywhere and they're just powering up the whole episode, I'm kind of like, well, that was disappointing, you know? One of those friggin' moments. Anyway, so we got all the toads. We don't necessarily have to get all the rest of the stuff in here. Um, we can probably just go to the end and probably finish off this wonderful fifth little part and... Yeah, okay, eat you up, seriously. Okay. Alright, I think we're- are we getting to the ending here? Okay, I'm- I gotta freaking look up here. What is up here? Okay, nothing. The screen doesn't go up that far, then obviously there must not be anything there. At least I'd assume that. Yeah, I probably could go back and just check, but- Okay, dude, seriously. You- you ran into the- you ran into the freaking pipe. That wasn't very smart of you. Not really saying he was a smart- Seriously, like, Bowser just bullies- Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him, he's just like- coming back and forth, and, and then Peach comes over and says, guess what, I'm gonna eat you. Nom nom nom. My god. Jeez, that's crazy. Okay, platform, what's down here? What, what seriously is going on? 
slide. You can also slide and do that and kill a bunch of enemies at once, which is really cool. Oh, geez, yeah, speaking of which. Whee! Butt smash! Oh. And this, oh, is that seriously the end? Wait, what? what's up there then? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I had to do it. I had to, because I'm so curious. Don't let me regret this game. Don't let me regret this, because I was so close to the ending right there. But there's something, I have a feeling there's something up there. Okay, you did not just do that to me. Oh, that's it, I'll get you. Is it worth it? Is it so worth it? It's totally worth it. Okay, so I think there's something, is there seriously something up there? Is there anything up there? No? I'm trying to think if you actually break this block so there's something up there. I don't know why I was thinking there was something up there. It just looked like as if the screen was going off in that direction. Like as if there's something could be there. Ugh, I'm just... That's why I probably love Zelda. Oh yeah, Peach. That was easy! Wow! Yeah, I can try to do the Peach voice for you guys if you want. Peach has got it! Okay, that's my Peach voice. <laughs> or my attempt at doing Peach voice. Anyways! So that's basically our first little episode of Super Prince Peach. You're kind of your introduction to Super Prince Peach. Uh, in the next episode, we're obviously going to be doing like World 1 3 and continuing on the rest of the world, hopefully. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, leave in the comments below, I guess, if you did. You know, um, maybe here's a question for you How do you feel about Peach? Like, how do you, do you like her? Do you hate her? Do you think she's annoying? That kind of thing. So leave in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Anyways, thanks again. Thanks for watching, and take care.